Dermot Lane's introduced a very basic concept for Christian thought. Grace. Grace means gift. To understand the gift of grace, we've got to understand nature. Each thing has its own nature. And it's what it's able to do, its capacities, are measured by its nature. Like an orange tree can produce oranges. It can't play a violin. A horse can produce a magnificent display of athleticism, but it can't play a violin. A human beings can play violins. There's a limit to what each thing can do according to its nature. And creatures have a limited nature. Therefore, there's a limit to what they can do. But in the generous plans of God, he wants to carry us beyond what nature can do. The wonderful thing about human nature made in the image of God is that it has an openness. And God will bring forth from that openness a capacity to share in his own life, and his own plans, or his own work, his own joy. So that sharing that is beyond what would be possible to our nature is the order of grace in, the, in theology. Let's think of some things that come to us as a gift that we would never have even expected or hoped for. Many people have experiences like that. For example, childbirth. Parents are overwhelmed with the coming of their child. Something has been given to them far beyond what they could have hoped or imagined when this little child comes into their life and begins to share their life they've been given something friendship interpersonal love is a gift something beyond what we could have deserved or earned it's something given to us most cultures of the world think of the work of artists and great gifted people as having been the expression of a gift they have received. People who write poetry, for example, often describe how it came to them. It seemed to be given to them. It seemed to be a spiritual gift, the insight. Think of the great artists, Michelangelo, Mozart. They were aware they had a gift. God had given them a capacity to do something that was beyond what they could have imagined for themselves. Looking at nature, often we have a sense of being given something, being invited into a broader world than we could have imagined. When we see perhaps a beautiful flower, or a bird, or a magnificent landscape and mountains and valleys, so all of these experiences are very positive experiences of receiving something beyond what we could have expected and hoped for. There also there can be an experience of being given something in negative experiences. Death, for example. It's an amazing thing, and I think many priests have this, this experience of accompanying people who are dying and something happens to them. They begin to see their life in a new light. They see what they've been given. They count their blessings. Look back on what they've received. They become aware of what they've received from God. Failure. Vulnerability. People who reach a point where they feel they can't cope anymore. It's all beyond them. 
they can either curl up in their corner or they can turn them beyond what they can do to the one who can help them. And their life's opened up to a new openness to God. It can be a moment of great grace to those people. Loneliness. Alienation. Feeling you're all alone and you can't cope and there's a yearning in you for something more. And sometimes people find that something more when loneliness becomes solitude and they're happy to be with themselves and they begin to find the depths in themselves and their relationship with God. So all of these are intimations of giftedness 